I don't think there's a magician alive that hasn't been asked at one point, if you're so magic, why haven't you won the lotto yet? The idea of the lotto routines or picking winning lotto numbers has been played with by many people, myself included. Everything from electronic devices, special pads and gimmicks and whatnot, and Rand has a routine that is the only routine now that I do. I love it. I've watched him develop it over the years. I've contributed to myself. It involves no gimmicks. It involves just a real lotto ticket. You walk up to a store right now, buy a lotto ticket, buy some Powerball steps, fill them out, and predict the lotto numbers. It's incredible. Uh, Are you gonna play those numbers? Yes, when I leave. But he looks like a unicorn. That's insane. How did you do that? And we're gonna win it together, and we're gonna continue this. When you see me at the lottery office collecting my money, I want you to be there. It's simple, you're gonna do it right away. Uh, I know you're gonna love this. This is Get Lucky. When you think of the ambitious card routine, we think of a multi-phase effect where a signed card goes from the middle of the pack to the top. But what Andrew's done is he flipped the script. He's created an effect where the spectator finds a better version of themselves. And that's why we call this becoming. The spectator pushes the card flush into the pack, places the cards in their hands like this. Now Andrew guides them through a journey of self-discovery and after a few moments, they open their hands to reveal that their signed card is at the top of the pack. <laughs> It feels great, it feels like like you're opening something that you have no idea about. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. I feel slightly strange. Thanks so much. You know, it's a hard city, like you said, there's a lot of people and it's really easy to get kind of lost in it all. This is amazing. I wish I could explain it. I can't. <laughs> it's magic. It's literal magic. <laughs> Andrew's amazing. Um, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. <laughs> Here's radio. This is a great effect. It is uh, slightly out of the genre of magic, more into mentalism or mind reading. Anytime you can get inside somebody's mind or share a thought with them, it's, the reactions are always amazing, right? We know this. But when you can share a song that somebody's singing in their mind, it's even better. So Rand's routine, uh, he asks somebody to think of a song, any song at all. They write it down on a card and they hold it in their hand. Rand gets them to touch his temples and they feel a thought leave Rand's mind and into theirs and they guess one note of the major scale which is really really cool so Rand continues to do this as uh, that, that song is shared the same way fingers to the temples they sing it in their mind and immediately Rand can sing it out loud uh, or you can go into their phone if you don't know the song and, and play it on you know Spotify or iTunes or whatever but people always freak out. It's like this moment where they're thinking in their mind, there's no possible way he could know what song I'm singing in my head, but he does. And this is radio, check it out. Every time you surprise me. <laughs> Every time you hit me. With most 50-50 effects, they only really matter when you put something of value on the line. Well, Andrew's 50-50, he puts $100 on the line and pretty much wagers whether the spectator's gonna pick up the 100 with their left or the right hand, and he always gets it right. This is the most amazing, impromptu, anytime, anywhere. Borrowed some paper, some pens, a bill, you're good. This is Andrew's 50-50. Sure. Uh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. getting the bill, thanks. I don't think it is 50-50. I think there's a couple of variables that could be in there, but I just decided to stick to my guns. I'm like, I'm going left, I'm not changing my mind because I will not be influenced by whatever it is you're doing. But apparently I was anyway.